Good morning, Bulldogs, and welcome to the Mac Morning Show. I'm Mr. Lazinski, and today is Thursday, the 22nd of September. Now for your morning weather report. Today will be cool with the high reaching 70 degrees. We should see mostly clear skies and light winds. This evening will also be mostly clear with just a few clouds and a low around 47 degrees. The lunch menu for today is barbecue sandwich with Carolina style slaw, ooh that's a hard one to say, beef with broccoli, Hawaiian pizza, and burritos or tacos. The following students are celebrating birthdays today. Happy birthday to Nayeli de Leon. Here are your daily announcements for today. Have you lost something here at the school and are not sure where to find it? The student lost and found is located at the back of the cafeteria. The media center is now open before school at 8 a.m. Wednesdays it will open at 8.45. Please pick up a pass in the front office <coughs> at the front desk in the office. The media center is also open during lunch. You must sign out a pass from the media center before you go to lunch. You will only be allowed back in the media center if you have a pass. Once in, you will need to stay until lunch is over. Attention all 8th graders. If you would like to be part of the best yearbook staff in the world, come see me in the media center and put your name on the list. Students must be motivated and detail-oriented with the ability to work well in groups or on their own. Tomorrow is Friday, and Friday are Spirit Days. Wear your best Bulldog Black and Gold colors to school on Fridays to earn spirit points for your team. In sports today, the cross country team has a meet today at South Middle School. The students will need to be dismissed from class at 2.44. Now for our segment on this day in history, brought to you by the History Channel. Here's a look at this day in history, September 22nd. In 1792, the first French Republic was proclaimed. On this day in 1949, the Soviet Union ended the U.S. monopoly on nuclear weapons and exploded its first atom bomb, and the nuclear arms race began. Today in 1975, President Gerald Ford escaped the second attempt in his life. Sarah Jane Moore was arrested for trying to shoot the president outside a San Francisco hotel. And on this day in 1862, President Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. His decree set a date for the emancipation of more than three million slaves and recast the Civil War as a fight against slavery rather than a struggle to reunite the states. And that's this day in history. Well, that's it for today's show. Make sure to tune in next time for the Mac Morning Show. Have a great day.